and welcome to my YouTube channel where every episode I take a physics topic and hopefully explain it in a really simple and understandable way. Now some episodes are just going to be fun physics facts but most I'm going to try to tie in to the current school curriculum so when that's the case I'm going to put the key stage in the episode title. Welcome to Refraction, the sequel. If you haven't watched my Refraction Part 1, then please go back and do so, because this video will make a whole lot more sense if you have. I've never done a Part 2 episode before, but my Part 1 was already quite long, and I didn't want to bore you to death with a super long video. So if you're watching Part 2 right now, then congratulations! Because 1. You want to absorb more knowledge, and 2. You're not sick of me yet! Basically, I covered the essentials in part one, but it was bugging me that I just told you which way the light bends according to how dense the material is. So like, I stated the fact, but with no explanation, and I just gave you a rhyme to help you remember it. But, if you watch this episode, then you shouldn't need the rhyme to remember. Hopefully, by the end, you'll understand why the light bends different ways, and therefore be able to work it out every time much better. Let's begin! Now I mentioned that light travels at different speeds throughout different transparent materials. True! Now this next bit was definitely inferred, but it was never stated outright, so some of you might have already cottoned onto this, and well done if you did! Gold star for you! Here goes. The less dense a material is, the faster the light will travel. Through air, light travels at about 300 million meters per second, and air is like the least dense medium around. The other examples I gave were water and glass. So I explained that light travels through water at about 225 million meters per second, and it travels through glass at about 200 million meters per second. So it travels slower through glass than it does through water which makes sense because glass is more dense than water. I love it when it actually makes sense. I just want to clarify why it bends in the directions it does. Imagine a car is driving along a road at the same angle that the light ray is traveling here. So it's driving along and then bam, it hits the mud. Immediately, the front right wheel gets slowed down first, and this turns the car to the right, towards the normal. And then it's plodding along, through the mud, at a slower pace. And then BAM! It's out of the mud! And the first wheel out again is the front right wheel, so this speeds up first and turns the car away from the normal. And this is an analogy, of course, for the light rays travelling through different transparent mediums, where the road was a less dense medium, like air, and the mud was a more dense medium, like glass. This makes sense, right? And hopefully put some context behind that rhyme I made. Now I know that there is one more question burning into your brain right now, so I'm going to answer it for you. What happens if the light ray hits the medium at a perfect right angle, so straight on. Well, think of the car in the mud again. Here we go again. If it drove from the road straight into the mud, then both the left and the right front wheels would be slowed down by the mud at the same time. So the car would just travel straight through at a slower pace without turning. The same happens with light. When it hits a transparent medium at a perfect right angle, it travels straight through. No bends! There you have it. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did and you want to learn about other cool physics facts, then please like and subscribe and watch all of my other videos. And if you want to learn about a specific topic, please leave a comment below and I will try to do a video for you.